we are taking question and answer of markets around us. In what ways is a hawker different from a shop owner? So a hawker provides door to door service. He sells his good by calling out the names of his items and he generally owns a thela, a cart or a bicycle or a scooter. So we can call it as a movable shop and keeps in a different items of uh, our everyday general use. So he sells his goods at minimum profit. While a shop owner runs his shop at one fixed place. So whenever we need anything we just go there and purchase it. And we may get things somewhat costlier there. Compare and contrast a weekly market and a this one and a shopping complex on the following. So weekly market kinds of goods sold. In weekly market different items of our everyday use like vegetables, groceries, cloth items, utensils and while in shopping complex you will get branded items like ready-made clothes, home appliances, footwear, leather items. Here we also get uh, eatables like pizza and burgers. What are the prices of goods in weekly market? Prices of goods are not very high. Common people can afford them. While in shopping complex, prices are good. Of the goods are usually higher than in the weekly market. Only rich people can afford to buy them. Sellers, who sells them? So weekly market, small traders and hawkers they sell them. And here, shopping complex. Big business, big businessmen and traders they sell them. While the buyers are in weekly market, these are local people belonging to low income group, and here we have wealthy city people or people who have good amount of money. Explain how a chain of markets is formed. What purpose does it serve? So goods are purchased in factories. So from factories and farms, we get or the wholesale traders buy them. Then the retailers buy from the wholesale traders and then consumers get it from retailers. So goods are also produced in farms and in homes. So but we are not required to go to the factories or farms in order to buy goods of our need. Because the producer will not be interested in selling us in small quantities. The wholesale traders do this job. So they are the people who come in between the producer and the final consumer. They first buy goods in bulk that is in great amount. Then they sell these goods to the retailers who finally sell this to us that is the consumers. From this uh, we, if we came or we can come to the conclusion that from factories to final consumer there is a chain. There is a chain which is formed which we may call as chain of markets. We can understand it through this flow chart. So it serves great purpose. It maintains flow of money and it makes easily uh, availability or easy availability of different items of our general daily use. It also promotes coordination in the society. All persons have equal rights to visit any shop in marketplace. So rights. Do you think this is true of shops with expensive products? Explain with examples. Of course, yes, it is equal right or equality or equally true of shops with expensive products and uh, consumers can visit any shop. Even uh, though we have no money in our pockets, the shop owner is bound to show the articles which the customer asks him to show. He cannot force the, consu uh, the consumer or customer to buy an article. It totally depends on the consumer whether he wants to buy it, buy it or not. So we can understand it more clearly. Let us take an example of Kavita and Sujata. They went to Ansel Mall out of curiosity. So they have such a curiosity. Let us look at how the things are in the shopping mall. So while wandering here and there, they enter a shop all of a sudden. They have no plan to buy anything. They look some branded dresses and just move away. 
Buying and selling can take place without going to market place. Explain this statement with the help of examples. So this is the age of internet, online shopping. It has changed the mode of everything. Now we can just make online purchases with our uh, credit card, debit card, etc. We can place orders through the internet and goods are delivered at our place. In clinics and nursing homes, we usually notice MRs, medical representatives, waiting for doctors. So these medical representatives, they are also engaged in selling goods. So buying and selling takes place in different ways without going to the market. Or even one thing you can do is, you can uh, call the departmental store, uh, give them the list and they can deliver it to you at your house. Why is a weekly market called so? A weekly market is called so because it is held on a specific day of a week. That is why weekly market. Why is there a competition among the shops in the weekly market? In weekly market, there are many shops for the same goods. So they are selling the same goods. So this creates a competition among them. Who is? And uh, this is Samir actually. If you uh, see the textbook, there is a story of Samir. So Samir, let me change it. What does he do? So Samir is a small trader in the weekly market. He buys clothes from a large trader and sells them in six different markets in a week. Give some examples of roadside stalls. So vegetable hawkers, fruit vendor, mechanic, these are examples of roadside stalls. How are shops in the neighborhood useful? So these type of shops which are in our neighborhood or close to our home, we can go there anytime. As the buyer and seller know each other, these shops also provide goods on credit. Udhar. Where are goods produced? Goods are produced in factories, on farms and in homes. Why do we not buy directly from the producer? The reason is, the producer will not be interested in selling goods in small quantities. Who is a retailer? So retailer is a smaller trader who buys goods from the wholesaler. He is also a trader and sells this eventually to the consumer. Who is Aftab? So Aftab is a wholesaler in the city. He purchases vegetables in bulk and then sells them to the hawker and shopkeepers. How are buyers different people? So they, there are many buyers who cannot afford even the cheapest of goods. While others frequently visit malls and they buy different items. What is done in the wholesale markets? So there is a, or this is a place where goods first reach and they are then supplied to other traders. Write a brief about shopping complexes and malls. So shopping complexes and malls, they are usually found in urban areas or in cities. These are large multi-storied air-conditioned buildings with shops on different floors. And these shops sell both branded and non-branded goods. So fewer people visit malls because they sell costly items. Only well-to-do people or you know those who they have enough money to buy these can afford these items. What is the job of a wholesale trader? So a wholesale trader buys goods from producers in large quantities. He then sells them to other traders, say small traders. And these small traders sell different items to final consumers like us. So the wholesale trader establishes a link between producer and the consumer. So it is through these links of traders that goods reach far away places. How are different owners in a weekly market or and those in a shopping complex, they are very different people. So both are different. The shop, shop owners in a weekly market, these are generally small traders who run their shop with little money. On the other hand, if you talk about shop owners of shopping complex, they are big parties, big owners. They have enough money to spend on their shops. 
then we have the second reason is a difference is they are not equal earning is not equal the weekly market trader earn little amount compared to profit of about the profit this regular shop owner gets in a shopping complex write a brief note on aftab the wholesaler in the city so aftab is a wholesaler of vegetables he uh, usually wakes up at 2 or 3 because the work starts at 2 at 3 in early in the morning and this is the time when veg vegetables actually reach the market or, or mandi and with them start the daily activity the vegetable come in trucks matadors etc and soon the process of auction begins and after uh, participating in the auction and he will de be deciding who or what he is going to buy he buys vegetable in bulk and after that he sells them to the hawkers and shopkeepers who usually come to him around 6 in the morning do you see equality in the market if not why not explain with examples the other way to ask the question is what in brief or write in brief about the market and equality so we don't see equality in the market big and powerful businesses they earn huge profit while small traders they earn little for instance the shop owner in a weekly market and those in a shopping complex they are different people one is small trader has little money while other has lot of money to spend on the shop earning is also not equal the weekly market trader a little profit whereas the shopping complex owner gains huge income not only the shop owners are different people but also the buyers so in the market we see different types of buyers there are several buyers who uh, cannot afford even the cheapest of goods while others they are busy shopping different luxurious items in the malls so there is less equality in the marketplace